Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial function f of x in the factor form, and we are asked to find the zero first. So how we find the zeros? Over here, you need to set up the f of x equals to zero. Right, you see it here. Since uh, this uh, polynomial function is already in factor form, we just need to set up each factor equals to zero. Right, so we get x equals negative 5 as a 0. The x-intercept is negative 5 and 0. And also the similar here, x plus 4 equals 0. That will give us x equals negative 4, which is going to give us negative 4 and 0 as an intercept. Uh, so that's it for finding the zero. But now we, the next thing they ask us is this multiplicity. Uh, look at here, this is degree one, an invisible one. So this zero has a multiplicity of one. And this negative four has a multiplicity of two. That's it uh, about multiplicity of this zero. But based on this multiplicity, we can also discuss about the last thing in the problem, which they ask us if it touches the x-axis or uh, crosses the x-axis, crosses the x-axis and touches the x-axis. So what is the difference here? Here, for, for instance, since the multiplicity is 1, the graph is going to cross the x-axis. On the other hand, since the multiplicity is 2 here, right, these two, well, the graph is going to touch the x-axis. And that's it pretty much about this problem. You can approach this problem graphically if you have a graphic calculator and you're going to see this behavior, these zeros. Um, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.